Morning and welcome to Costa Cabe, the home of Creon Shinchan. Now, the last time I was here, I kind of just walked around, but today we're actually going to go check out the little arcade museum kind of thing. And if you are into manga and anime, then this might be for you. Good morning, Andy, and good morning, Tim. I think I saw and Bold Nut say what's up, cuz and William Logan. Nash abroad. Hey Cindy. Now, Crayon Shinchan. If you are not familiar with it, it's you know you can call him. Hey Larry, how are you, Sin City? Um, you know Crayon Shinchan. You can call him Shinchan. You can call him Shinosuke Shin Nohara. And I just got a phone call. Urgh, they're gonna call back. I bet you. So it might uh, cut out again. I do. I do apologize. Now, um, Crayon Shin-chan started as a manga series in about 1990 or so. Um, it ran under the, uh, the weekly manga action. I don't know if that was a magazine or not. Hi, Maria. Hi, everybody. Um, and then it was changed from 2000 to 2010 to the Manga Town series, I believe, something like that. Uh, there's about 50 volumes um, of uh, things like that. And then the anime series itself was actually um, produced, I think, in 92? I think so. Um, I'm not really up on, uh, you know, Crayon Shinchan too much, but I actually, when I do see uh, uh, his, uh, the cartoons, and, and the, well, the anime, whatever you want to call it, um, I actually watch it. It's, um, it's kind of funny, right? It's uh, basically about a five-year-old uh, doing whatever he does around the Kostakabe area uh, with his family, his dog, uh, and things like that. Now, it was first made by Yoshito, Yoshito? Yoshito Yui. Uh, and I believe uh, before he died, he actually did live in um, Kostakabe itself. Um, and then when he died, uh, they made like a new kind of style anime uh, thing going on, um, which is still running today. And it runs in so many different countries um, that uh, they have the English version, obviously, the Japanese and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, that was just a little uh, information, I guess, if you're not... Uh, uh, familiar with Crayon Shinchan? Uh, today we are uh, standing by the um, station, and uh, we're going to uh, go over to the mall where the actual arcade place is. Uh, I've never been there, so you're going with me at the same time. Uh, hi, Amanda and A1 and uh, Melanie. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. Um, and yes, I was watching a bit of Ryan's. Uh, 5k run but uh, I gave up on it because I'm here with you guys so kind of interesting I'm actually standing by a bike thing here it's an electronic door and I guess you can go park your bike in there and it has like a monthly pass or something so um, let me get my backpack on here and uh, Let's get showing you the sights and around. Um, the plan today is to uh, obviously go over to the museum arcade area, but also to show you uh, how to get there if you ever came to uh, Kasukabe Saitama. Um, show you the area, show you a little bit of the mall, and then we'll go see uh, Crayon Shinchan. So uh, yeah, let's go and uh, check it out. Now this here is uh, Kasukabe Station. And another phone call. Urgh. It is on the uh, northeast side of Saitama. It's a very small little country style. Let me shut my uh, Wi-Fi off here. We should be good. What was the building behind me? Are you talking here? That is a pachinko parlor. Got a bunch of other buildings there. 7-Eleven. What did Maria say? I'm fine, Tim, and how are you? Oh, good, good, good. So yeah, this here is the station. Uh, it's a nice little station. Last time I took you guys over into that area there. 
But today we are going to show you how to get to this place and uh, go check it out. This here is on the Tobu Skytree line. So this will take you straight to the Skytree. Uh, we have a Koban here, police station. And right there is the actual station itself. And basically you just walk straight out here. Kaskabe is a small town. Uh, I actually like this town. It's uh, very quaint, I guess you could say. Obviously, obviously, you see not that many people. Good morning, Sean. And Kota Hosemas. So, yeah, this is uh, a little bit of the station. I'll turn it around here just to show you as I'm walking away from the station <coughs> that there's not much of this Inaka style area. It's not really countryside, but it's not really a, a big city either. So. so yeah, basically all you have to do is walk down here. Now, if you were uh, to go down in that area, that's where there's a, you know, a bunch of restaurants. There's an Ito Yukado. You can see the 7-Eleven sign there. A bunch of uh, hostess clubs and things like that. But actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn left here Yes, it's still playing on Japanese TV. <clears throat> and we're gonna go behind that 7-Eleven that I was pointing at. And it's only about a five minute walk to the actual area, to the mall. I think it's called Lala Port, which is still pretty cool. And of course, going through all these back streets, you'll find certain things that uh, might be good to eat and or uh, drink. Of course, these are all gonna be small little izakaya style things every which way. You can see the side streets really don't have much of anything. Of course, there's so many bikes. Welcome to Japan, the land of bikes. So as you can see, we're just uh, walking right here. That's the mall right there, La La Port Garden, it's called. Where is everyone there? What do you mean by that, William? Oh, and William, by the way, I uh, sent you a message on Discord because you have two accounts on there and I wasn't sure which one you were using. So I was like, which one are you at William Logan at William Logan? So let me know which one you are and I'll delete the other one for you, whichever one you're using, if you do sign on Discord and stuff. Nothing interesting. In oh, I've never seen this. Enjoying my birthday week off. Pick one. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, thank you, Paula. Thank you so much. Mountain Dew, but I've never seen Mountain Dew Violet. That is very interesting. I'm actually, I'm gonna try it one day. Huh, interesting. Anyways, let's keep going here. Um, there are, uh, in this mall, you know, a bunch of uh, stores. Of course, there's a McDonald's, which I can see right now. Um, Great Mountain Dew, but they call, I think they're calling it like Violet, which is kind of weird, I guess. Not sure. Local postman, have you guys ever wonder? This is how the post guys uh, drive around all the time. They don't walk. <laughs> like seriously, he drove that far and that was it. Do the do, Drew. <laughs> hey, Joe. <laughs> Blackout is great Mountain Dew. Oh, Spanish restaurant here. Never knew that. And you will hit like uh, this. I've never seen this Club Prince. Probably not sure what it is. So then you come to the end of this road. We've only walked like what, five minutes, if that. And uh, you're gonna come into this big mall area. Back there, it's really, oh, thank you, William. Arigato. Beer for lunch. I'm actually working, so I'll have that tonight, actually. And uh, 
we got some weird kind of thing here. I'm not sure what this is, but lots of parking and stuff available. And uh, we're just going to cross over and get right into the mall here. So <clears throat> you can go in this way, but I don't like going in this way. I'm going to take you around the long way and show you kind of like the front of the mall. Whoa, Sean, dude, what are you doing, bro? Thank you. You're a beast, man. Like, seriously, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Wow. Arigato. <laughs> Arigato. <laughs> it's funny, is when you live in Japan, you pick up mannerisms. So even if I'm talking on the phone, I'll be like, hi, hi. You're always nodding your head. Who's watching? Nobody's watching. Oh. Oh, thank you guys, really, seriously. I appreciate it. <coughs> so, I'm just walking to the corner here. And you can actually, if you were to come out, you know, walk further up the main road, you can come to this intersection here and walk. Uh, looks like they do have United Cinemas here. I didn't know that, actually. Uh, these are all the movies playing in, uh, in this theater right now. And yeah, they got the damn Pikachu movie going on. My nose is fine, Kota. Here, update. Nose, hmm, a little bit of a scar, but hey, alcohol-related things, you know, hmm, joke night. <coughs> so as we come out here, the mall actually opens up better it's an outdoor mall actually uh, with a few indoor places and not too many people I bet you I know that have been to Japan have ever come to Koskabe it's uh, it's quite a unique little area um, it's connected to uh, Koshigaya which is uh, Koshigaya is famous for uh, when I was in uh, Kawasaki, I was showing you those, um, I forget the name of D D Doruma. Coach guy is very famous for those, which are lucky uh, things. You color one eye and then wish for something. If you get your wish, you color the other eye. Something along those lines. <coughs> so yeah, here we are walking into the beginning of the mall here. You're going to have uh, different stores here, of course. Uh, so right now I'm seeing Mitsukoshi, probably a women's store. And this is uh, basically the start of the mall here. There's about two or three floors to it. So let's go uh, check it out. Awesome, William. Glad I got drinking buddies. Seria is basically a dollar store. There are a few dollar stores around that have different names. Uh, this one is okay. I like Daiso myself better. Way, way better. I'll just show you what's on the bottom area here. Um, I know there's a Starbucks somewhere. Happy dude in the house. It's not an outlet mall, it's just a mall. Jin's is uh, one of your cheaper but famous uh, eyeglass stores. This here is more, what is this, the Waku Waka Hiroba. I really don't know this actually, but it looks quite uh, busy. Lots of vegetables and stuff, uh, bookstores. I know upstairs will be, I think, on the third floor, so we're gonna head up there pretty soon. So yeah, it's just like your typical outdoor mall, I guess. It's a beautiful day here. Uh, it's not hot, not sunny. I don't like that. No pets, but oh well. But yeah, it's funny as you have a pet store right here. All for pets. Like I saw the, I saw beauty salon, I thought, oh, but it's all for pets. But you're not allowed to bring your pets here. That's weird. A typical Japanese uh, snack store. And I'm talking like these snack stores are dope. 
like seriously dope. So yeah, let's go upstairs. I'll show you what's on the other side of the escalator from up top. You have a case of the Mondays? No pee or poo for pets. You do have, when I first came here, there was that indoor street area, which you can see the sign here. Um, I could have come in uh, this way over here, right at the end is where that entrance was. And there's just a few shops and I would have come out into this area anyways. On the second floor, you have a lot more uh, stores. You know, you got GU down there, you got Uniqlo here, you have Stone Market. Uh, the perfect shirt factory. Yeah, nothing fits me. You know, all kinds of different things. Kids' school bags. Pretty psychedelic. Uniqlo is right at the end there. Uh, downstairs there is a grocery store. And then the ABC Mart, which most of you probably already know, is just a shoe store. So... That's basically the second floor. Hey, Shogun. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I really appreciate it. I really do. I will be working uh, in Koskabe today, so that's why I am here today. And actually, when I had done the live stream... I'll just turn the camera around for a minute. When I did the live stream uh, when I was in Koskabe last time, like, that video made, like, 6,000 views, which is pretty good for me, right? But a lot of people were saying, hey, can you go and do, uh, you know, the Shinchan uh, Museum and things like that? And it gave me an idea that, you know what? Why not? So we're coming up on the third floor here. And there it is, right there. So this is the actual museum itself. I really hope I'm allowed a camera because uh, <laughs> I'm live streaming. The uh, movie theaters are at the, at the back there. And, uh, oh yeah. Hey guys, you can see me. Um, tonkatsu. Somebody's making something here. I have no idea what. You know, so it looks like there's a lot of restaurants up here. Travel company, so on and so forth. So I'm not sure exactly uh, what this is all about, but Let's go check it out, guys, and uh, see what we can do. I don't see a no camera sign or anything like that. I'll show you the outside of it, which is uh, pretty cool. They do have an arcade, it looks like, or whatever you want to call it, those stupid grab machines and cranes, and maybe we'll try that later. <laughs> maybe. It does get expensive because uh, I suck at it. So yeah, let's just go inside and uh, see what we do. Yes, don't, I don't even want to talk about the stabbing, please. So, looks like we're walking into the actual arcade area. So, all right, I got 500 yen, I'm gonna get coins. Are you kidding me, Gimbal? Hold on, guys. Sorry. Oh, I see. Okay. The Gimbal just fell. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm mooning you, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I charged the gimbal all night. So there must be something technically wrong with this one. I guess I'm going to have to change over the, the other one next time. But yeah, these, all these crane machines, I don't think I'm good at. But we got five bucks. So let's see what we can do. Those things are impossible. You go for like little things like this. Minion, and Pan Man. I do have a charger. I should keep the, 
Hold on one sec. Let me find a ledge. Oh, got kind of snacks in this. You got this, bro. No idea. I should play something easy just to get a prize, eh? Here, let me uh, let me put this down for one sec here. Actually, they have a lounge here. Check this out. Ah, that's hilarious. And the gachapon. So that's kind of funny. Here, let me uh, get my charger out so I can charge the gimbal. I don't know what's going on, guys. I really, really don't. But, hmm. Always freaking gimbal problems lately again. The weight is always good. I know that. But I guess we'll... Time will tell. Charger. Now I just gotta find the cord. Which I have. All right. Put that back on my back. Okay, we're charging at the same time, so hopefully uh, this will be a bit better for you. So yeah, you know, this would be obviously a great place to bring your kids. Thank you, Kota. So that's pretty cool. But not exactly sure where I'm going to uh, play yet. Not very busy, which is cool. What should I do? What should I do? Oops. Could you imagine getting that? That'd be pretty cool. Just gotta knock that down. You guys ever play these things? Cause I really haven't. See now something like this makes me happy. Chocolate. Let's play. All right, here we go. Which one is it going to be? Probably not. Ah, see, and that's why I don't play these damn things. They're perfectly balanced. Never win these damn things, so I'm probably not going to waste my money on that. Especially on the first one, it doesn't do nothing. Like, how the hell are you supposed to get that balloon to get the prizes? So, yeah, this is uh, basically the museum area. That's pretty funny. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the family itself. I, I, I'd probably just smash the damn thing. <laughs> so here um, are all, I believe, all the um, things here from 93, it looks like. 94, 95, 96, going all the way around. Which, if you guys are into this, this is pretty cool, actually. I don't think I'm going to try it at all, A1. So that's up to 2008 over there. And then over here is, uh, again, 2009, 10, all the way down to 2019. And it looks like, you know, to, all the way to 2024, which is pretty cool. catch goldfish yeah maybe one day i'll try that looks like a little souvenir store here so obviously this is for kids but uh for manga and anime enthusiasts why not and then if you look up on the ceiling like even the ceiling is pretty cool hi sandra yeah they will adjust the prizes sometimes especially if you spend a lot of money so I'm just gonna quickly go over this way, see what's over this way. I don't know if this is all part of it either. 
it again. This looks like it's just an arcade itself. Nothing to do with Shinchan, really. That's cool. What is DDR? Hey, Bill. So these are uh, not real pachinko, but close enough. You don't win actual money out of them, just coins. So this is a game center with uh, medals, obviously. These are the kind of machines that I like playing. But still, you get nothing out of it, right? Basically, it's an arcade-style thing anyways, so... And then these are those funny picture things that girls like to do all the time. Which I'm not doing. <laughs> and then we're gonna walk out here, and... Uh, if that's it, I'm disappointed. And you know what? Honestly, I'm very disappointed. There is really nothing here. I was told it was a museum, but it basically looks like a bunch of arcade games, uh, a store, and that's it. How disappointing was that, guys? That really was. Like, yeah, they have they have, you know, stuff like this and, you know, whatever, but yeah, you know what? That was it. Uh, who said that? Helen? Yeah, I'm really surprised. Unless I'm missing something, but I don't think so. That is it. So basically, um, you know, right behind me here is the entrance. You walk in and you have a little bit of uh, Crayon Shin Chan and his family that I've shown you. On this side are all the uh, claw machines, UFO machines, whatever you want to call it. And then the last part was just an arcade style thing. So kind of interesting that, uh, hey, Cobra, go find some goldfish. <laughs> it looks a lot bigger than what it really is because they have four entrances, but you know, we walked all around inside here, too. So that was actually quite disappointing. That there's nothing much to this. They, the website makes it look really, really fun. You know, you can dress up. You can uh, take pictures. Things like that. But I'm not really into the picture. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, that's a... I thought there were stairs going somewhere else. But yeah, that's that's about it, guys. Like, just... This is the museum part right here. So that's not much of anything, really. Oh, we could watch a movie. Huh. No history of Shinchan except for the covers. Yeah, exactly. Nope, that is it. Like, seriously? This is it, guys. I just saw the map of the layout, and that's all they say it is. They do have some prints here, which kind of looks interesting. <laughs> Prince of his butt. His butt and his hands. It's kind of funny. But yeah, guys, that's it, guys. I'm, I'm really surprised. That is his butt. DVDs, a store, and uh, not much else of anything. I think this is pretty cool. You know, besides, uh, they got stuff down here. 
Not sure exactly what all that is, but yeah, let's. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, and uh, I'm still looking, but it really is nothing. It really, really is nothing. So it doesn't even look like it is staffed. Um, I think I saw two staff members. And that's it. That you. Oh, really, Bill? <laughs> So on the outside of uh, the Crayon Shinchan, they make it seem so big, but it really isn't. It's so disappointing. Oh, well. Pretty much the rest of the third floor is what you see here. The JTB uh, travel company, some stuff for women, women and women, and uh, more restaurants. You can see like this is what it looks like from up top you know we actually walked in this coming this way so yeah I'm a little shocked and surprised it wasn't as good as I thought it would be damn dang it meat so then now you can see I'm on the other side here it looks huge like starting from all that area all the way over but it wasn't uh yeah i think coffee time is better i think i'm gonna go grab a coffee if i can find anything else but starbucks well i'm gonna go down but <coughs> hopefully uh I'll find something else, maybe. You never know. But from my research, uh, basically, it was... Uh, that was it. But, hey, you guys are hanging out with me anyway, so that's pretty cool, so... The ratio is like 10 to 1 women to men there. <laughs> you would notice that notch. <laughs> the sad part is they're all grandmas. I don't drink McDonald's coffee. Um, so I couldn't tell you, uh, just the thought of drinking McDonald's coffee just kind of makes me feel, Ugh. All right, I'll show you guys the, uh, the indoor street and maybe we'll walk a little bit around. Um, so yeah, for, for all you people out there uh, that do watch the replay about Kray and Shinchan, anime fans, that is it. That's the museum. Um, I was really hoping to make a really good live stream about it. Um, but it's right up there, and um, honestly, don't waste your time coming. All right, second part of the vlog. Let's go walk around and have some coffee and lunch and something like that. I'm just going to walk through the indoor mall and go out the other exit there. Bunch of stores and stuff, but nothing really exciting except for her. Bunch of mobile, they got the, the nail thing. They got the things for the boys to buy the girlfriends. McDonald's is just over here. Shoe place, HIS. And McDonald's. And that's it. So, oh, and Rakuten Mobile, which is kind of new in the last couple of years. So this is uh, the escalator that, uh, you know, I came walking from that street over to the corner and went that way and so coming in this way. Um, hi, Diana. Is in Hulu, just looked. Shinchan is in Hulu? What does that mean, in Hulu? As in like, Not catching you. And then, yeah, there's so there's not much to this mall, except for, hey, smiley crepes. Smiley crepes, yet they serve okonomiyaki. Or, I mean, uh, takoyaki. Huh. Interesting. 
All right, so now we're just basically walking out of the area. Uh, the, the train station will be way over that way, about five minutes or so. Oh, you can watch it on Hulu, I see. Yeah, I have Netflix, so I, I don't know Hulu, really. Interesting store right here, actually. Didn't realize. Made in Okinawa. It's an, basically a... Huh. Okinawa place. Interesting. So, yeah, we're just going to walk back this way now. I love seeing these areas off usual tourist routes. Yeah, you know, like... So many people. Um, you know, and myself included. Uh, you know, we vlog different areas of Tokyo and stuff. But uh, I actually you know, love my job because I can travel to all these small places and whether you're interested in, in them or not, um, you know, they're still kind of unique to see, especially you see the local uh, living and the local atmosphere. And I call it the real Japan because Tokyo is not the real Japan. Um, but then again, it's like going to Thailand and visiting Bangkok. Um, whereas if you went up north, you know, um, you'd probably see the real Thailand. You know, I think it's like pretty much in every country, right? Yeah, I heard you guys had a tornado warning. And it is nice to walk around without crowd, crowds of people. Um, I just kind of worry and wonder about like stores like this. It's a, a music store, in, in instruments. Do they actually sell stuff? So, hmm. All right, so we're walking this way, and uh, I gotta go find a coffee, and, and a smoke, and a smoke. This is the exact same street that we did walk down. I wish I could find like an outdoor cafe. Yeah, I just have Netflix, and I don't have cable TV. Um, I gave you TV for years, and now that I got Netflix and internet, um, I'm, uh, you know, streaming stuff on the internet, yeah, it might be bad, but still do it. Not gonna lie. <sighs> what would you recommend for first time sighting visitors to see? Omiya, uh, Kaogoe, probably Kaogoe. Koedo, a little, uh, little Tokyo, old Tokyo, uh, which is still pretty cool. Uh, okay, so we're coming back out to the main road. Uh, I'll take you guys over to the other side. Maybe we'll find a coffee shop or something over there. Um, Tully's, what is, what is your favorite spot to get coffee? Hey, Jason. Um... Ah, see, I have really bad coffee, coffee tastes. I like my instant dark, thick, Turkish-style coffees. Like I make my coffee as strong as. Mm. Um, so really, no place really has a good coffee for me. Uh, even if I do have like, uh, even if I do have, you know, some Vietnamese coffee or something like that. Hell, even the bus over there. Has crayon shinchan on it. That's hilarious. <laughs> so. Okay. So here we're walking into this area. This uh, this area at night is more popular. Uh, with uh, the nightclubs down the side street over here, a few is the Kaya's. Um, there's a game center. You know, a few uh, side places. Shut up, buddy. Ah. Uh. I think of switching from direct TV to YouTube live and picking up a few other apps. Oh, you guys are talking about all that. 
So yeah, here in Kasukabe, very small, but all the hostess clubs are down here, which are closed, obviously. Uh, there are a few izakayas, uh, like Doma Doma, which I've actually been to years ago. Uh, you do have a big karaoke thing here. <laughs> you gotta love ten Tendon. It's a tempura place. Uh, I eat there a lot, actually. One of my favorites. Game center right beside it, which not going into. You come down to this area here, and uh, you'll hit my favorite restaurant, like Hidakaya. Uh, you got a jewelry store. Got all kinds of different places around here. And it's kind of interesting. You want to see me sing some karaoke? Have you checked out the uh, TD members videos? <laughs> you are a TD crew member. You do have access to it on Patreon and or uh, the website, I believe. You don't want to hear me singing, to be honest. So this just leads you right back to the station here. There's a family mart down there. Chinese restaurant, another Chinese restaurant, things like that. Uh, Hula Tahiti, Tahiti Studio. So I haven't been able to find a coffee shop yet though. So that kind of sucks. I do know there's a coffee shop, Tully's just over here. So maybe I'll, I'll try that. Uh, I hope so, anyways. Yo, is LMA in the house? Uh-oh. Really? Are you there, LMA? Really? I didn't see you pop up, but I wasn't looking either. Okay, I'll scroll. Oh, LMA is there. Good to see you active in the chat about nuts that Tokyo Drew was having natto withdrawals. It was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lloyd. Sorry, I didn't see you there either. <laughs> Maybe the bro should do some... I haven't talked to Shinichi in a couple weeks, uh, obviously, because his family was here, so... Hopefully we'll get back on the horse and do another bros uh, episode for you. Who knows? If we can, great. If not, kind of miss the guy. So, uh, but I understand he was quite busy and stuff. So just trying to see, do they have a smoking area? And they do. So we're going to go in here and uh, grab a coffee. If I can find the entrance to this damn place. Oh, here we go, Konaman. Freaking, 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 freaking. Love it. Hold on, I gotta be quiet. Hi. Ah, coffee, coffee, coffee. Grande. Grande. Ice hot. Hot. Coffee. Uh, the coffee cost actually almost five bucks. Surprised. But, uh, and then gimbal uh, kind of went down. So I'm going to change over to, uh, I'm going to charge the gimbal a bit and uh, change over to the uh, Gorilla Pod. Jackie's in the house. Which Jackie? I know Jackie Hiro is here. Yes, for regular drip or whatever you call it, just a regular coffee. But I got a, a large coffee, so... Who is that there? Hey, Drew, I don't know if you talked about this in different episodes, but do you find you are ever treated differently because of your tattoos? No, not really, actually. Um, I'm adding a little bit of water. Cool it down. 
I'll talk about that one in a sec. Let's go to the smoking room. Change over to the uh, the gimbal for the grill upon. This thing. Uh, yes, coffee. So there must be something wrong with uh, the gimbal right now because um, just recently I've been having problems. So, you know, with it being about a year old, maybe they're just getting old, I'm not sure. Hey Drew, are you friends with any other big Japanese YouTubers? No, I'm not. Hold on one second. think a Drew meltdown is coming. It's going to be a good day, that's why. But I am really disappointed about Crayon Shinchan. Hmm. Not much you can do about it. Oh, well. Holy shit. That was fast for the first, that second beer or third beer. I can join you guys in beers, but actually I'm working today. Um, I will be doing a little bit of work and then visiting a school uh, to do a bit of filming today, uh, filming lessons, um, and uh, then just heading home. So I was expecting crayons in the damn place. <laughs> Hence your first comment. It's all good. Um, and then the place uh, that I'm going to is a grocery store. And it's pretty cool. There's a lot of these grocery stores. Um, if you buy bentos, they actually have a microwave that you can heat up your bento. So that's pretty cool. I like that idea. Just, kind of, I guess, you know, 7 Eleven does the same thing, but um, at least you have the choice to do that if you want. Public service announcement. 
Don't Tokyo do during these times. Press the like button if you don't like naughty one. <laughs> Come on, you must be friends with LMA, right? So reference to the crayons. Beer and six. Here's a challenge for you guys. If anybody's a good artist out there, draw up a Drew Plasma Man. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> this weekend. Oh yeah, what did you what did you guys think? If you watched uh, last night, I I posted the Oktoberfest video because you guys wanted it. Um, what did you think of it? Because um, I was, uh, you know, I, I kind of added pictures and, uh, you know, stuff from my cell phone. I did not plan on filming that day. I didn't bring any of my camera gear. And then once I got there, it was like, whoa, the energy. Like when I, the first thing I heard was the Benny Hill theme song, whatever you call it. And I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty awesome. Looks like it's gonna win the train wreck bet. I'm still, I will finish it, LMA. It's just, doing it at night, I fall asleep a lot. We jump channels sometimes too, oh really, eh? Drop plasma man. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, A1. Oh man. Drew, you are a F. Are you top tiering me? A legging? Legend? Expensive, yeah, exactly, right? Um, oh well. Best YouTuber from Japan? Are you drunk? <laughs> I'm like rank XYZ for Christ's sakes. I just do what I do. Put the odd vlog out. Well, I do keep it real, that's true. I'm not gonna hide that. It's the whole concept of me, I guess. All right, smoke's done. I'm gonna go. Uh, from rinking? Oh, you're rinking, not drinking, rinking. like Superman? No, I like blue would be better, I think. No, purple. Purple. Did Gimbal have good rest? I'm charging it right now. Thank you, Lewis. New word is rinking. Absolutely. Give me one second. I'm going to uh, pick this up. Sorry for the shaking. Got to take your ass and clean up. This is the actual smoking area itself. So not much of anything really, just a bunch of tables. 
and then walking out into the main area. Hey, door open. This is the actual cafe itself. Leave out this door and uh, away we go again. Oh, it looks like it's gonna rain. I didn't bring an umbrella. That sucks. Mm. Yeah, that's why it was raining last night and uh, I wasn't sure if it was actually gonna rain again today, but obviously it is. So hopefully when I have to walk back to the station, I don't have to do it. Dude, did you talk about the, the stabbing? No, I'm not gonna talk about that. And I, I really wish that nobody will bring that up here. Um, a lot of people are, you know, I'll just say this, a lot of people are really worried about it here. Um, and uh, it's just a very sad thing. So, uh, yeah. But while I got you on here, FML, send me those freaking pictures, like ASAP, because it takes me hours to set up. Guys, uh, FML is going to be on uh, uh, TD Talks this week, which I look forward to. Uh... <coughs> ah. Loogie. Um, this is kind of an interesting store here. Oops, come on. It's a Japanese style uh, place here. Bunch of, you know, stuff that I would never shop for, but you know, obviously old ladies do. Be pretty cool. So yeah, FML is gonna be on uh, this week. Uh, Peter, Mike, and Bill uh, from Mike's Kitchen. Um, they are actually, I, I forgot to tell you, Bill, if, if it's Bill or Mike or whoever you are, <coughs> and he'll, he'll type in now. Oh, it's Bill. Um, if you go to tokyodrew.com, they are in my uh, creator spotlight to, uh, this week. I posted them yesterday. And uh, with, I always post like, a little bit of about me thing for the channel. Um, but also I posted a video of theirs and uh, I had to pick a video. And uh, so I picked the durian pizza video. Just watching Mike throw up in the sink is freaking hilarious. Uh, so go check that out, guys. If you haven't seen it, it's freaking hilarious. Um, I'm kind of hoping that uh, they'll do some food and some beer while we're talking. That would be fun. So maybe I'll have to give them a challenge while I'm interviewing them. So yeah, we're now we're kind of oh hi Tomoko. So we're, now we're kind of like in this little area. It's not much of anything, guys. I'll turn the camera around here. Shots live. I have a feeling it's going to turn into uh, some sort. I'm just changing hands here carefully. Um, I knew there'd be a beer challenge of some sort, guys. But I'll make sure I have lots of beer. Um, this Lad's Casual Bar, I've always wanted to go visit it, but at the same time, can beer? Oh, okay. Oh, are we doing shotguns? Oh, that'll be awesome. Just a bunch of stuff. Kaminari steak. D don't get it confused with Ikinari. If it starts to rain, think skinny and walk in between. <laughs> A crap ton of tarp. Damn, I don't use tarp though. So that'll be kind of uh, weird. I think I know her. Maybe one of the student's moms. <laughs> she looks familiar. This here is a really old style uh, place. Uh, Ito Yokado which uh, sometimes they actually have Crayon Shinchan stuff in there. Local lottery booth. And now we're basically walking out of the station area in, into nothing. And this is where we, I'm gonna head over to the park because it was too cold in that uh, place. And I don't feel like walking around with this uh, freaking gorilla pod shaking like I am. I'm trying to keep it as steady as I can. Um, but yeah, there's not much to see here, so now you got to see my beautiful face. <laughs> Drew, don't start with shotguns 
ends up with Jägermeister enemas. That's not pretty. I heard stories that's is it scary. Yeah, no Jägermeister here. But you know what I saw the other day in a, in a liquor store is absinthe, whatever you call that. They sell it here in Japan. I think it's illegal in the States or in Canada or something. I heard, I don't know. Hey, Mohammed, how are you? Uh, so yeah, we're just, uh, I'm just walking over to uh, a park. It's nasty, oh, is it really? Jägermeister or absinthe, or whatever you call it. Handmade kitchen. I don't know what a handmade kitchen is, but it was illegal, but it's been legal for like 10 years now. Oh, okay. Didn't know that, Nosh. I live in the past. I'm old. Oh, well. Oh, not much to see, really. There's like nothing here. But I do know there's a good izakaya just over here. Uh, I used to go there after work all the time. Is wicked... Bitter has to be dripped through sugar and diluted. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Um, yeah, the Izakaya is just down over that way. Now, I was going to go into this park, but it looks like they got something going on and a bunch of people here, so not sure, but maybe I'll find a bench and just hang out to finish the live stream off for a bit. I'm trying to keep my live streams without Shinichi to about an hour. Um, just because. <laughs> This is the, the park behind the station area. It's not much of anything, really. You got toilets. You got a bunch of people hanging around. You got a security guard, monkey bars. Don't know exactly what he's doing. Got a bunch of people over there. Working half day, Drew. Working half day today. No, I'm actually starting at 1230 today and working until 930. So I work nine hours every day religiously if not more. Sometimes I actually do work a little bit less, um, but not all that time. I was looking for a bench, but looks like this guy's got the whole freaking bench to himself. Oh, I gotta go climb up a hill. Oh. Oh. Fat man climbing up a hill, woo! But it's really nice to, you know, find parks like this um, in little towns. They're basically in the middle of nowhere. Some, looks like some uh, older people got things set up. Oh, I think they're dealing with the blind. That's pretty cool. I respect that. Here, I'm just gonna, found a ledge. Enter old man sounds now. Is Jim Arnold here? How are you, bro? Um, so yeah, this here, I'm just showing you, I've sit, this is the ledge I'm going to be sitting on here and I'm sitting on one of these benches. <laughs> it looks like these people here are, uh, have blind partners and they're training. You got a bunch of wheelchairs over there. So it looks like they're, you know, helping out community maybe, which is pretty cool. I think that's freaking awesome myself. Where's Jim? Oh, there's Jim. Hey Arnold, how are you? Thanks for joining. Uh, let me just put this down. I gotta stop. I gotta stop grunting. I remember Moto Gnome was like, "Oh my God, a ledge, shocking." <laughs> it's actually kind of humid today. I'm surprised. Ah, oh, getting hungry. So as soon as I get into my work location, I hit the grocery store. But I got coffee for now, so I'm happy that way. So, yeah, guys, you know what? Uh, it's been, I just want to say, you know, thank you to everybody. Um, it's been a good month. It really has. Um, I don't usually, uh, yes, I'm going to work, Mohammed. Um, I don't, you know what? We, we gained uh, a couple more TD crew members. Uh, I think that puts us at 33 or 34 now. Um, 18 on Patreon and 15, 33 I guess, on Tokyo Drew website. So it really guys, thank you so much for the support. Um, the views have been great. Um, 
you know, I still average maybe 500 views a video. I'm happy with that. What the hell? Um, my Thailand video is almost at 10,000 from a couple weeks ago, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so certain videos, you know, do do great. Um, I find, you know, what's funny though is I find that live streams don't do that well for views per se, but I think what's more important um, and the reason I like doing live streams is just I have 50 people uh, in the live stream right now and we're engaging together. Uh, you guys are engaging with each other and that's what community is all about. So thank you. Seriously, it's pretty awesome. Um, I hit over 40,000 views uh, for the first time ever. Um, and I think I'm going to hit about 400 thousand watch minutes this month and uh, the monetary value I'm just gonna keep to myself of course but um, yeah it, you guys have supported me a lot and uh, it's helped me travel help me go places in Tokyo uh, buy beer <laughs> William Logan um, <laughs> so you know thank you <coughs> uh, yeah thumbs up guys really um, I appreciate it. I really do um, this week uh, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing at Williams Logan's hot. Oh yeah, hi Tokyo Drew. How is the itchy nose, or did Moto fix that? Um, the itchy nose is still around, but I haven't had a reason to use it yet. What do you get when you add a ledge? Smokes and coffee, beer equals Tokyo Drew in a good time. <laughs> it's all about smokes, beer, and ledges. I'm telling you, man. I always love to support Drew. You keep my Japan dreams in check. I'm determined to be there by next uh, May. Awesome, Tim. Um, first live stream, I'll be back for more. Yeah, I might, honestly, uh, who are you there? Uh, the great Com he Holy. I'm just going to call you TGC, the great. Um, I do all kinds of weird shit. You know, like today I was going to do just like a half an hour thing on Crayon Shin Chan, but I got disappointed that way. Um, oh yeah, don't forget the stool. I rack my freaking face off stools when I'm drunk, you know, or try to sit down, whatever. Back alleys I do. Like I do things different than, hey, Kumoa, how are you? Um, I do things different, I think. Uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, like as an example, and uh, somebody that I, I look up to a lot, uh, John uh, Dobb yesterday was doing um, something I thought was interesting that I never thought about doing and that was like the electronics area of Shinjuku uh, when I do pee and alleys too yeah and take you along with me um, I have a different style than John but I really look up to him because he, he, he's an amazing guy um, but he does his certain way and you, this is what you get if you don't like it don't watch that's all I say right Trevor hello how are you um, and I like to talk to you guys. I like to show you things and talk with you. I like. I wish Shinichi was around right now. Um, and the search is for. And of course, ledges, Jackie. Of course, it's always the search for a freaking ledge, and somewhere to smoke illegally and pee illegally and just be me. That's all it's all about. That's what it's about, right? Um, I will be doing getting close to four thousand subs. Yeah, um, yesterday, actually, I, I did a Facebook post. Robert Schrader, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. I believe it's, you're the same person. Sup, Boudicca? Um, Hey, Joyce. Um, so yesterday I was, uh, hey, Robert Goto, how are you? Carlos, I got your email this morning, I, or Carlitos. I believe you sent me that email. Because I'm... Your, your YouTube name and your, your email are pretty much the same. I'm, pretty, I'm thinking it's you anyways, but anyways, if it is, yes, say yes, please. Um, Kayaki Beer Festival. It starts today. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to be going tonight. Wait, is today the 30th or the 29th? What's today? When? Oh, today's only the 29th. It starts tomorrow. Shoot. Um, but... They have 60 beer craft vendors at Saitama Sintoshin. Um, I did a vlog about it about two years ago, and I'm thinking of doing a vlog and a live stream this weekend. Um, we love you because you're yourself. Thank you, Jackie. Um, 
Tokyo Drew, your finances are none of our business. I understand that nobody needs to know your personal. Yeah, exactly, right? Um, if I was making money on YouTube, I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> Hit that like button, people. Yes, please. Finally caught you live, Robert Goto. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing the beer festival. Um, it's a great. You and Satoshi should get together to do to the beer festival. I I really think you should, right? You look so tired, Drew. No, I'm not tired at all. Um, I'm just not awake yet. <laughs> because that's my dad on Facebook. Oh. Ah, okay, so you're, it was your dad sending me messages on Facebook, I think. Anyways, craft beer, 60 vendors, um, each beer probably anywhere from five to 800 yen. Uh, I know they have tasting sets where you can get like four different style beers, um, you know, usually about a thousand yen. Um, a lot better than, a lot cheaper than the Oktoberfest, that's for sure. Whew. Um, that Oktoberfest, easily you can spend a hundred dollars on four or five beers and some food. But what an, an amazing atmosphere that was. <coughs> um, and then next Tuesday, uh, I'm not. I'm gonna hopefully go live. Um, just giving you a thing because it's my birthday next Tuesday. I will turn fifty freaking two years old. God, I wish I was 25 again. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, I kind of do. The birthday drew. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do for my birthday. Um, no way. What's the cost to taste all of the be different beers? I would have no idea, Robert. Um, you got me by 10 years, I do know that. Uh, senior by two years on me, oh, okay eat cake um, I, hopefully um, yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't usually celebrate my birthday I don't usually uh, do anything um, go out drinking maybe when I was younger you know you go clubbing and all that and I'll never forget on my I forget how old I was shit 17 years ago so it puts me about 35 years old I, I, went, I was in Vancouver, and don't you get senior discount now? <laughs> oh, the first itchy nose of the day, Konaman Studios. Oh. <laughs> Let me know uh, what your plans are when you get here. 17 years old and what? Uh, 17 years ago, uh, I was 35 uh, clubbing in Vancouver and uh go out with bridget and pulak no i'd actually i don't talk to them much anymore it's kind of sad um <laughs> i um was in a club and we were on a bit of a raised stage and this drunk girl she didn't realize i guess after a while she was on a stage and she just we were all like, hey, okay, you know, a bunch of us, come on, let's go. And she just walked in and then boom. And seriously, face, face planted right onto the floor. And the sad part is, is I was already walking out the door and I turned around and I just saw her like spread out on the floor, broken nose. And you know, the sad part is she stopped the bleeding, you know, whatever, blah, 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 towel and everything. And she partied with us for the rest of the night and then went to the hospital. Crazy chick, man. I've never seen her. I, I met her that day. She's a friend of a friend. Never seen her since. And that was probably the best birthday party I've ever had. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. But yeah, my birthday next week. Kayaki Beer Festival. I might think about doing something else on Sunday. Vietnamese girl. They... She was actually Vietnamese Korean. So you were almost right there. Tokyo, I am 54. I know I did a good job when you start laughing about it. Drew's food reviews. Wow, it's been a long time to see you in here. What a beast to break your nose and keep partying. Absolutely, right? <laughs> I bet it was wild. 
at the end of September, but until early October. Hey, Robert, hit me up when you get here. Anybody that watches this stream, you, uh, anybody that comes to Tokyo, I will go out of my way to uh, try and meet up, uh, hang out with, hang out for a few hours, whatever uh, you know you want to do. Um, somebody actually actually asked me. Um, I think it might be one of the TD crew members, Nick, uh, but he asked me like, would I ever think about uh, doing like a tour guide kind of style thing? How much would I charge? Um, you know, kind of things like that. And actually, I might think about something like that because uh, you know, put itineraries together for people. I do know the Tokyo area pretty good. Um, might be an idea, right? The best ones are ones you don't remember and wake up in jail. That's the reason I don't. Yeah, I've never woken up in jail. I have I have passed out a couple of years ago, not remembering 12 hours, but that wasn't my birthday. Or a rink. Mm. <laughs> it would be an honor to meet you. And it would be an honor to meet you. It would be an honor to meet anybody. Um, I almost, you know, I almost, I'm going to say this LMA. I almost want to take a trip to Sydney just to meet you. Just so I can give you itchy noses in person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, i got a lot uh, coming up this week. Uh, i got another couple vlogs uh, I I'm working on. I'm still editing the, some of the TD crew member videos, <coughs> which um, I'm going to be making a bit of a change on the posting of those videos. Uh, basically, all the private videos uh, for the TD crew will be posted at the end of the month. Um, you know, t three, four, five videos that I do every month instead of posting it like on the 10th, the 20th kind of style thing. Uh, so I got that coming up. I got new merch coming out June 1st. Um, and I'm talking hopefully some cool stuff. I even might have some women things coming out. Um, and Sakura themed merchandise. So maybe that might uh, help. You never know. Let me know when you're coming and I will make sure I am Japan. <laughs> Really, LMA? Oh, man. Was your 12-hour blackout also stool-related? <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is what I love about you guys. Is, yeah, kind of roasting me and burning me all the time, but I love it. I really, really love it. You know? Um, yes, finally. I just... It's, it's freaking awesome to have a crew like you guys... Um, where I know that, you know, you have women things coming out. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking something different. <laughs> Part of the other ones you don't remember. Pretty much, right? Yeah, it really is itchy today. I don't know why. Konaman and LMA. Um, <laughs> I just, you know, I know that, you know, you all belong to different communities. And, um you all act differently and I think what what's really cool about this community is not only do you guys roast me make fun of me um, I like it it's fun um, but it, it creates the, the, the community gets stronger and stronger and a lot of you guys I'm not gonna you know put anybody on the spot but a lot of you guys email me a lot a few times a week uh, we're on discord together even though I haven't been on discord much this week um, you know, so it's pretty cool. Like the community really is building, and we're almost at four thousand, um, which. Going back to my story, I started telling about ten minutes ago. Though, was uh, if you noticed, if anybody's friends with me on Facebook, I was sitting in the hobby editor yesterday, and basically I was like, at, you know, thirty nine, sixty seven, something like that. Um, if you want to come to Tampa, Florida, and you want to guess me and itchy nose go ahead uh, okay <laughs> if I get to 4,000 uh, community members by May 31st we, he bet me a hundred bucks I wouldn't get there freaking negative negative. and uh, so I posted it on Facebook yesterday and then I took a picture of him um, and put it in the comments so um, just Jeff whether I get there or not, it'll happen. But to get that $100 from you and see you whine and whinge is so important. So guys, 
Help me out. Let's get to 4,000. Tell your friends and family. It'd be awesome. Just so I can take a picture, shove it in his face, and say, Booyah! Wolverine, have you ever drank Albertson's brand Aquila? I was doing double shots tequila poppers, but beer never again. I like my memories. I don't even have an idea what a tequila popper is. Since he'll make another account. <laughs> so. Oh. Tampa Bush Gardens, two free beers, the price of admission, and roller coaster. No roller coasters. No roller coasters, please. They suck. I hate them. I do. I know, I know, but still. I'm scared of heights. I can't even go on a freaking Ferris wheel without getting nervous. So. Could you imagine me being on, yeah, 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 Muhammad. You see, you see, it's the third one of the day. The third one. Or was that four? Maybe four. You just need a hill with, a, with stools. <laughs> That's funny. Is that Papa? Last time I drank tequila was in 87, wow. Last time I drank tequila was not too much long ago. What did I miss for dinner? I have no idea. It's lunchtime here. Plaza Landro will fix that nose, yeah. No thanks. Okay guys, I gotta get head off to work here. Um, Fat man putting on a backpack again. Okay. Uh, so, I thank you very much for joining. Uh, we're going to keep it under an hour and a half this time. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, I will be back live again. Um, I don't know when. Just whenever I feel like it. Thanks, Drew. Uh, it's okay, Drew. Not everyone likes coasters. I don't like them either, but I can do the Ferris wheel. I can do it, I guess, but it still makes me nervous. Um, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to go over to the Discord, uh, onto the voice channel while I'm walking. If you want to join over, uh, by all means, I'll be on my cell phone, so I won't be able to heal very well. Uh, Jason, thank you so much for joining. Um, William, you should get over and, uh, to the Discord if you can, if you have a microphone. Uh, no more 10 minutes? Nah, never 10 minutes. Nah. If he has 4,000 by the end of the month, he will run down the street and drag screaming tequila. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, thank you, uh, everybody. And uh, no mic? Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you real soon, guys. Keep it real, keep it off. Stay true to yourself. Later, guys. Bye. And go to the Discord. Go to the Discord. Go to the Discord.